So it's Friday, 10th of August, 2018, and, and it's my 40th birthday. Ah. Oh, I was born in 1978, so this is like 40. I'm 40 today. I am 40 years old today. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm not doing anything special except I have to go to my uh, to see my counselor at the dot dot job agency. Uh, so, so I'm getting ready to go, and just like a few minutes before I was, was going to start filming, I got I got my book delivered, and maybe this is like uh, 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 I don't know if it's a coincidence or whatever, but it's like. Oh, maybe this is my present. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a sign of something. So this is the revised uh, standard version Ignatius Catholic Bible, large print edition, the black bonded leather. So this is a Catholic Bible. Oh my goodness, I got so many Bibles. Um. <clears throat> So oh, it comes in this box, and uh, oh, it, it's kind of heavy feeling. So it's a revised standard vision, and uh, oh my God, the print is large. It indeed it's it's a large print. Look at that. It's a large print, and it's got the uh, the apocrypha. Because in the Protestant Bible they don't have certain books, whereas this they got you know they got like books like the Maccabees, you know and uh, you know so this is a uh, I don't know I'm not sure about that I think the print is a bit too large <laughs> for, for me but uh, hey you know it's got like maps and stuff. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's nice. That. Yeah, but this is this is apparently like a, a standard Bible for Catholics. It's presented to me, and uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, my children. Oh my God, it's got the whole family lineage. Uh, I don't have any of that. <laughs> oh, that's, that's something else. So, um, yeah, it's got this kind of bookmark thing. So, that, so that's nice to get. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have an appointment with a, I don't know, some assistant, a pastoral assistant or someone um, at the local Catholic church. Uh, next Wednesday at 3. So that's like, that church is like a few minutes from here. It's very close by by car, so I'll be meeting that, that person. So I've been asking that person. Um, I'm transgender. Does the Catholic Church accept trans people? And they said yes, yes, yes. I'm like, who? Huh? Because I thought the Catholic Church did it. And then I asked this very specific question. I asked them like, uh, can I receive communion, which is like taking the Eucharist? With the bread, you know, the body and blood of Jesus in the bread and wine. Um, so I asked that uh, specific question: Can I, can I take communion uh, as as a trans person? And they said yes, as a fully initiated Catholic. Uh, you know, one thing I don't. Yeah, and they said yes, I can, I can, I can take it. So anyway, so I, I might be looking into that. Um, one thing I've noticed, like like last time I, I did my makeup without making a video, and I, I felt like that was much better for me because it's like, because I could focus on doing my makeup and it was more enjoyable because right now when I'm making a video, I feel so distracted and it's like, uh, anyway, so yeah, I'll be taking like a, a break from YouTube and, uh, I have a you know I'm gonna take a break from social media so I can focus on my mental health treatment because I have lots of lots of mental health problems. 
Oh, I didn't, I, I didn't realize how bad things were, <laughs> actually. Because when, you, when you're yourself, you don't think, oh, this is who I am. But it's actually when you look into it, I've got lots of um, problems, specifically with borderline personality. They don't call, some people call it a disorder. I saw this fantastic video where they were talking about mentalization-based therapy and how they were talking about this thing called epistemic trust and it's it's a it's, it's a very uh, good video i'll link that below um mentalization is useful for any anything you know not just borderline uh, anyway so um you know electrolysis and uh, you know the, it's got an, it's still a bit sensitive it's uh, <clears throat> so yes i need to i have a you know i've got, I've got depression I've, I've got a lot of paranoid thinking and I also have a tendency to be delusional. I mean, delusion is not the same as hallucination. Delusion means like you're convinced that what you're believing is true. And that has, so it's not like a magical, I mean, it's, it's, it's not like um, you have to look at unicorns or something, you know, it's gonna be, it can be based on a very real, but you, you, let's say you see that you think like someone is out to get you. They're plotting and planning against you. You might have a delusion, and for me, I do. I do get those delusions. Like I, I like with these job agency. I thought that they were all planning. They were had this thing against me. They don't like me, and that's what's all. And I used to respond in very defensive ways to them, you know. And for me, it felt real. So <clears throat> that's an example of, uh, yeah. I think that's you know, paranoid thinking. <laughs> Um, so I've got a lot of things I gotta deal with. Uh, I've been taking the mood stabilizer, 25 milligram for the past, this will be the third week. It only, I felt like it had an effect during the first week, but I'm, I don't know if that's a placebo effect. <laughs> Because they, they talk about this thing called a placebo effect, and it's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know, it, I don't think it was, because it really, I really felt a change. But maybe it just my body got used to it after one week. Um, so maybe, you know, I, 25 milligrams is still very low. Some people take 400 milligrams. The average, I think, might be 200. So, or well, 100 at the very least, so I still have ways to go to get a 100. Um, <clears throat> but I do, I, I feel like, the, you know, I, I'm getting back to that whole high, high and low mood thing. The thing with borderline and bipolar is that borderline people, their, their mood swings are very um, quick. You, you know, you can, you can have several mood swings in a day. Whereas people who have bipolar, especially bipolar type one, they have, they can be on a mania for like months. Even bipolar type two, they have this thing called rapid cycling, so they can have mood swings in a short amount of time. So that's where there there is like this. It's hard to diagnose or differentiate between bipolar type two and borderline. And you know, I don't know. So there's an all there's these, there are these overlaps and all of these things it's like mental health is not a science it's like an art <laughs> there is some science to it but also but there, there is this uh, part of it which is uh, like an art you have to you know it's not exactly science uh, but there is science to it um yeah i've been looking to these uh, far psychopharmacology you start reading this book um yeah, you know, so I find that interesting. Yes, I'm 40. I'm getting old now. I, I lived this long. Oh, you know, my neck around here, it hurts. I don't know if it's like a... What is around here? There are these inflammatory points. They're around here. I don't know. I don't know if it's because of the way I'm sleeping, or whether it's just maybe got inflammation, or I can't say, <laughs> worry about getting cancer or something. That's my black and white thinking. What do you call it? Uh, catastrophizing. 
I did the catastrophe block. Yes, I'm 40. I'm 40 today. I'm not celebrating. I'm not doing anything. Mm, I'm not even getting a cake. Uh, but, you know. Uh, I wish. I don't know. This is my 40th birthday. Nothing special. Most of my birthdays have been like that. <laughs> mm. I don't want to eat properly. I haven't been taking care of my diet. I have stopped eat I haven't eaten my veggies too in over a week and that's really affecting my diet and probably affecting my moods. Um so that's what I really wanted is do self care. Self care self care self care. Yeah. yeah, I don't know about the large print of that Bible, it's too large. But, hey, whatever, I got it. I can read it. Hmm. 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 All right, I think that should do. That should do. Oh, my hair. Man. If I don't eat properly, how the hell is my hair gonna grow and get better? Mm. <sighs> so depressing sometimes. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna. I have an appointment with a counselor at the job agency and uh, uh, yeah. I've started seeing this new counselor and I've got an appointment with her uh, I don't know next um, August 20th <coughs> anyway so, like my shoulder was like oh. This makes my shoulder look bigger. I need to wash my hands. Wash my hands. such a mess. Oh, everything's like, I haven't taken care of myself. <laughs> nothing. I've been not doing anything to do, do proper self-care. I wouldn't be doing much. I wouldn't be doing much self-care. Uh, neglecting my self-care. Uh, yes, I've been a bit moody. Not as bad. Uh, sometimes I can get really Really, moody, but uh, I'm a little bit moody. Oh man, this really sucks. Anyway, oh. Um. <sighs> I'll fix that later. Uh. feel like I'm taking care of myself much. Uh, <clears throat> so this is my 40th birthday. And uh, yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to record any other video, but hey. Yeah, I'll be taking a break. And um, yeah, so you know, I'll you know, take a break from social media for a while. And yeah.
appointment with this counselor, the new counselor, I mean at the work, uh, job agency. So I just talked a bit about my, uh, I hate, I mean it's difficult when you meet people for the first time, but you know, th th she, she seemed very, um, you know, like the, you know, she was very positive and, um, yeah, I don't I want, the thing is, um, so hopefully they will uh, get me to put me in a different stream where I can get more support. So basically, like, uh, because I do have real anxiety issues being around people. So, um, the, so this in this new thing, they might be able to, for instance, get me. Gradually get me into a job and gradually increase my exposure to working hours and being around people. You know, okay, like given the fact I have these problems, they want to put me into a stream where even the Centrelink will know that I have these barriers to employment and so they can help me maybe if I in, get into positions where the employers are maybe willing to work with my condition or something I don't know something like that uh, you know because you know people who are who have barriers or who have disabilities mental health issues they can in this new world that we live in <laughs> people like the, you know people with disabilities can work you know, it's just that their working circumstances might have to be different, you know? So, I'll be seeing her every Thursday, and she gave me out this form to fill, like, to get my GP to fill, so basically, uh, that sort of, like, allows, um, no, sorry for spitting, allows, um, these problems I have with anxiety and depression and all of those other stuff to be on, on the record to take this as evidence and put it on my Centrelink record and also to um, help them to shift me to this new stream so I can uh, you know get, get the help I need because I do need help securing employment I, I have certain barriers to employment my mental illness issues and they're, they, they, these are barriers to employment so, they, so if they have that on record they might give me more support that is tailored to my specific circumstances uh, you know. so right now maybe you know working two days a week in an administrative because I told her like oh, well, what, what would we like to do and it, you know I told her about it you know like uni stuff and all that but um, I told her that um, you know I apply for administrative assistant positions and you know so maybe if I can get a job like that where it's like a few hours a day uh, and gradual you know like 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 or two days a week or a few hours a day like you know two hours three hours or, and increase the hours from three to four uh, develop connections and <sighs> You know what I mean? Things like that. So hopefully that can happen. But my GP is, uh, I don't think he's available. So if, if I can't get him next week, I will try. Oh, oh, I will try the uh, week after. Anyways, I'll be, hopefully this can, something positive can come out of this. And, uh, So, I don't know, maybe I, I might continue to vlog. I don't know, you know, it depends on my mood. Sometimes I might make videos, sometimes I might not. I don't know. Yeah, you know, my one of the side effects of taking medications is you get dry, dry mouth. 